National surveys show that Northland has more gully erosion than any other region in the country and that's due mainly to its soil types but also to its rock types, its geology. Where we are here, we are on old sand dunes uh, near Bailey's Beach. The, there has been a series of dunes come in from the coast, some of which were, went down under the sea became sort of seabed plateaus and then were lifted up again and another wave of dunes came over the top. The stuff that went under the sea has been quite cemented in places both by the iron in it and also because it's had cowrie growing on it. So before it went under the sea it would have had cowrie and then as it came back out it probably did for a while as well. And that cowrie has podzolized the soil and formed an iron pan. But sitting below all that is unconsolidated sand. So the dune sand is it's not cemented in any way and is very susceptible to gully erosion. Over top of that we have had this red hill sand, this age of dune we're on at the moment, and that had iron in it, hence the colour on the hill behind us. The water running off this land running over the edge of the plateau and running out to the coast has cut down through the pan into this very soft sand underneath and some very large gullies have developed on properties along this coast. We have dealt with probably 20 or 30 properties with major gullies and when I say major I'm talking 20 to 30 meter deep gullies with just a thin skin on top and then a very deep gorge into this unconsolidated sand. One of the problems has been to control the rate at which the water flows over that, over that gully head. And one of the properties we dealt with, each time they had heavy rain, the gully head would cut back another 20 metres or so and it almost cut the property in half. They were losing access to the back of their farm and to the better land on their farm. So what we did on that place and what we've done on this place here is control the rate that the water runs off the land. And to do that, we built a detention dam. We found a, a suitable basin that would store water and built up just a low wall, in this case about four to five metres high, and it has a small pipe through the bottom. The water will drain out of this, when it, when it rains hard, the pond fills up, the water will drain out within 24 to 36 hours, so it doesn't affect the grass growth. Reasonably free draining soil, so there's not a problem with that water there. It drains out and down over a gully head. And in this case, we had this major dam here. There was another small catchment coming in, so we put a smaller dam just down a little bit further. And then over the gully head, we built a flume and um, that flume carries the water safely out over the gully head and drops it onto, in this, this case they used old fencing materials, trimmings off macrocarpa trees, anything to dissipate the energy until we got trees established. So it's a typical, typical method but it works particularly well on these soils. We're just over a 100 metres below the last of the detention dams, the second in the line, and about another hectare of catchment is added uh, to the gully before it goes over the edge. So we've got the water under control, it's, it trickles on down here enough to fit within a flume and in the gully here, over the gully head there was a flume built about half a metre wide, half a metre deep. Uh, built out of timber, lined with plastic, and that took the water safely over the gully head, dropped it onto old fencing material, uh, bits of macrocarpa, brush, anything to dissipate that energy. The area was then planted. Uh, the, in this case, we used coral tree because it has a root system very similar to willows, a fibrous root system and it can withstand the salt spray. We're only five, six hundred metres from the beach and so there's pretty strong salt spray, 
probably a little bit too much for most willows. The pine trees that have been planted around the edge are also there to help hold the, the hillsides in place and uh, they too are only there for soil conservation reasons because uh, this close to the coast they are deformed by the salt spray and really are not, they never produce good timber. But uh, this has been a very successful job. It's been well maintained by the landowner and uh, is the sort of soil conservation works that we would encourage on this sort of country.